This Sunday, thousands will take to Central Park for AIDS Walk New York. Among them, hundreds of teams remembering loved ones or honoring those living with HIV or AIDS. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch spoke with two team leaders about why this event means so much to them. Rita Fisher and Wanda Bugs, two women it seems we'd all be lucky to have known. Both made such an impact of the lives they touched that every year people head to AIDS Walk New York with their names emblazoned on their shirts. Wanda, a queen, my best friend, an amazing mother. Shakasia Brown shares she was only 23 years old when her mom passed away from AIDS in 1996. Once we finally realized what this was, it was just a hush hush. It was stigma. It was, shh, don't say that Wanda died of AIDS, you know, because it, it's going to make the family look, look bad. A year after losing her, she was on her way to work when this happened. I stumbled on, you know, the Fifth Avenue, you know, madness, and I was like, what is this? And I was like, it's making me late for work. And then I just started seeing in memory of. What she stumbled upon was AIDS Walk New York. It sparked something that I needed to do. She, too, needed to walk in memory of Wanda. The team started with just a few family members. Each year, my team got bigger and bigger and bigger. And grew to be 250 strong. Shakasia says leading this team opened the door to start her own nonprofit in 2008, the Someway Foundation, which stands for survivors of mothers with AIDS. We can never forget that we lost an, a loved one, but our goal is to support the journey of them missing them. Someway organized GMHC's first toy drive and holiday party host Mother's Day boat rides. Every time her team shows up to walk. It gives me a friendly reminder that my mission, it can never end. In fact, she's expanded her mission into Africa. In Kenya, she's building the Sumway Education Center and spreading love, a practice she learned from her mother, Wanda. I would describe her as a firecracker. Elisa Hallerman describes her great aunt Rita Fisher as a tiny woman with a heart of gold who declared herself Mama Sita Rita. She was not afraid to use her voice and stand up for what she believed. She loved community and she loved her family. In 1985, Rita Sanjay started talking about his new friend, Michael. So in typical Rita fashion, she said, is there something you want to tell me? She didn't know anyone that was gay. But made it her mission to change that. She started attending a predominantly gay synagogue with her family. Every week somebody else was dying of HIV. And they ended up losing about 50% of their congregation. Immediately she said, no, this is not, this is not okay. Elisa says she dove right in, started raising money, and showed up at AIDS Walk New York. The first year she did it was 85, 86 and she raised $300. For 30 years, she didn't stop doing her thing and raised more than $1 million for GMHC. In April of 2021, at 97 years old, Rita passed away. Now her family will lead Rita's team. We figured this would be a beautiful way to honor her. We could think of nothing more important to her. What would she say to people to get them to come out and support GMHC at AIDS Walk New York? Get off the couch. There's nothing more important. Mama Sita Rita would urge, be part of the solution, be part of the love. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And CBS 2 News is a proud media sponsor of AIDS Walk New York. We hope you'll join us to raise awareness, raise money, and break the stigma of HIV AIDS. The Walk is in Central Park on Sunday. That's May 15th. We'll be streaming the opening ceremonies live on CBS News New York starting at 9.15 in the morning.